Welcome back to YMT112 Algorithm and Programming 2. We are still discussing GUI applications. We've gone through three questions with different ideas. And now we have another question about the same scenario, but with also uh, a, mod a new modification to include a, a new type of a list. Do you remember our first session of this chapter? So we explained about this question. If you haven't watched it, please get back to it and watch it. Uh, we created the course list, for example, like this. And uh, then we uh, considered just a plain list. And uh, I said this is usually not convenient, it's inconvenient while um, considering long lists. And then what we did is uh, we uh, placed the list on the scroll. And in that case, it became a bit more convenient. Yeah, we kept the selection only single selection and the output was in the text. Next to that, we modified it a little bit more to have a better uh, performance of the output with multiple interval and so on. Now, what we need to do is we will keep the concept of a list. However, we will use different type of lists, the combo blocks. So we're going to have a different type of a list where we uh, have some small button when you click on it the uh, list opens and this is what we refer to by a combo box and in that case we'll just keep all the details we have in question one we will convert our list instead of a scroll list like question two to a combo box okay so let's just uh, get to NetBeans and start coding it I copied the first question literally the way it is I didn't change anything I just changed the name of the class, okay? So now I assume that you already have the idea of that uh, class. If you are not quite sure, please get back to session one and watch it. Now, in our case, we're not having a simple or plain list. Rather, we will have um, a combo box list. So keep the course list the way it is. I'm going to change it to J combo box okay and then that's pretty much of it for the private attributes we have all the private attributes we need um well selected course course panel the same everything is pretty much same we have one panel for this combo a panel for the uh label a pan and the uh text field so we have all these things. We have our uh, string for the list, the courses. Then uh, we have all the customization here. Keep the uh, border the same, course panel centralized, and the uh, selected courses to south. So in the center, then right below it, and the visibility is uh, set to true. We pack up the thing. Now here we need to modify. The first modification now this is no longer just a plain list we will convert it to a j combo box okay that is good however now this we don't have exactly selection mode this is not a list or a scroll list or whatever so that we can have uh, this kind of mode of selection we have actually uh, action listener so we need to add the event to awt and we will add it soon enough now it's not added is it no it's not added we need to add the event class action event and the action listener both of them why is very similar to the buttons it doesn't apply to the uh, selection uh, listener so we don't have exactly list selection listener rather we have different type of scenario so what we're going to do is we need to add the um, action listener. So, and you will see now, this is a combo box. So we need to have action listener. And as you see it, it's available already here. Okay. So we give it a name. So we instantiate, uh, let's say combo uh, box listener. Just give it a name, no, box, box listener. Okay, and this is an instance of a class. So for sure, we haven't yet implemented this one. So we need to convert the uh, implementation here and do it. So 
Um, now for this one, for the time being, this one is adequate. The panel also we added, we are adding the course list, which we customized it as a, as a combo box. So we have no problem here. For the panel that we are creating, there is no much of a change. We have our panel, sorry for the second panel. We have our panel here as a, a plain panel to set up the components. We have the text label. So we have the label here for the text and we have the output text field. Keep it the way it is, set it to not non-editable -edit and then place them to the components, the, same, the, the plane, sorry, the panel. So then we have the, the rhythm label first, then the uh, text field. Now we don't have list listener, rather we have action listener. So we need to implement this action listener. Okay, now what we are looking for is not, uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I need to take this one. Let me copy it so that I don't make a mistake in it. Okay, so combo box, list, listener here, action listener, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, okay. Okay, action listener. All right, so now it's fine. We need to implement the action performed as we did earlier. So the idea is um, we don't have value change, rather we have uh, action performed and you are familiar with this. You, it, it have passed with us a number of times with no problem. Okay. So the same here, we don't have this um, method, rather we need to customize. Um, we don't have get value. We have the get selected item. Okay. So is very similar get selected item not item item okay it uh, seems i have some mistake somewhere here let me check of course yeah I, I said earlier i need to import the event action listener and the um we need also the action uh, event so we need to import these two uh, let me just make sure that i i am done here uh, still i'm not exactly done set selected course set text selection uh, yes that's fine that's fine yeah pretty much is done here this one is already done i changed it to the um, course list combo okay so what we need to do we have the awt we need to import java dot awt dot uh, we need the event from event we need the action listener no action listener action event action listener both of them i need yeah so terminate uh, that's not enough why we, we need to add the action event i could have just added as an asterisk next to event but it's, it's actually good to learn uh, one by one event dot uh, action event so action event and that's it so now the swirly line is gone is it still i have a problem all abstract all abstract methods let's see what kind of methods i didn't uh, implement all of them seem seems to be implemented let me check okay hmm. did i mistype anything Combo box listener. No, that's fine. Let me see which method is. Uh, let me just type it again. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we are all set except for let me check yeah okay I I, I was just <laughs> I'm really sorry about the uh, this mistake now look 
the problem with uh, sometimes you know modifying the program why did this is fine I was just looking at this I was looking at this maybe I mistyped although I copied it I said maybe I had a typo I cannot see it by my eyes here is a problem <laughs> this is not the method that we are supposed to override so we know that action performed we're supposed to uh, override action event so that's why I got this problem yeah okay I was just uh, unable to see it at the beginning now it's quite clear sorry about this confusion so now we're all set everything is okay we instantiated the class we can just run directly and see the outcome okay here's our output let me stretch it a little bit we drag it to you so that you can see exactly what we are doing this is my combo box again the same requirements we set from the beginning change the borders for those create some sort of label now let's pick one of them and look well so now you know how to create these combo boxes and set up uh, your list as combo box if you feel that this is convenient or uh, more readable to you all right so uh, this is another type of list so now we covered uh, all the lists the types that we are actually supposed to cover in this course if you want to investigate further you can check uh, other lists that you may create in uh, Java just uh, you know do your own uh, research on the internet and see if there are other lists that you are supposed to learn and uh, apply the idea is very similar to those but most of our applications either it would be just a plain list if it is too short or scroll lists or a list that you can scroll around and the selection could be uh, either single interval or multiple interval or whatever the uh, options that, that you have you have you may have sometimes the combo box it depends especially if you are going to set only one choice okay for example if you're going to buy let's say a juice in, in um, from a shop or cafe let's say you want to select only one type so in that case this kind of combo box is very suitable why because it will just uh, you know you will see all the uh, elements here you will just check them and pick the one that you want as of course as a, a attendant of that uh, shop or cafe so this could be the the idea and uh, that's that's it actually for this session I'll create another session about uh, image image insertion and how we can use it until then have a good time goodbye